Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the AAS YouTube. And this one is one in the AAS author series. And I'm very pleased today to have uh, Ka Hebermath with us today. Hi there. Yeah, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Good. Good. How is good morning. Good? good morning to you. Good morning. Well, good evening to you. This is yeah, called thanks. Point India, everyone. So we're doing yeah, a yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you. How is the uh, uh, how is the pandemic situation in India? Oh uh, well, it is not uh, as severe as in the European and American countries, and uh, it is under control now. Are but, you... but we but but we don't know. But we don't know after one or two weeks what will happen. Yeah, yeah. So are you are you at stay at home? Yes, yes. I am. I am in home because uh, Bangalore is completely locked down. Not only Bangalore, even India is uh, completely locked up. Okay. Up to up to up to May third. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, we're at uh, at least I'm at home still. So what happens in the next two weeks? will uh, Yeah. How, how, how about America? Uh we have a lot of cases. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a complicated situation, right? Because on okay. the one hand you have health, and on the other hand you have economy, and so there's yeah yeah yeah. There's tension, I guess that's how I would say it. Okay. Uh, you know, that's why my video suddenly got very uh -huh, big. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through your lovely paper. Uh, uh -huh. I'm gonna share screen with everyone. So this is nearly century scale variation of the sun's radius and here math, take it away. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm here much uh, from Indian Institute of Astrophysics and uh, I have been retired two years back. And um, my, basically, I am a solar physicist. My research in interests are to understand the sun's internal uh, dynamics, uh, thermal structure, and magnetic field structure also. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, 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 I'm interested also to understand the genesis of solar activity cycle and phenomena. In fact, uh, I studied uh, the effect of uh, the sun's activity on the Earth's climate and so on. Okay. And uh, recently, I'm also interested uh, in the stellar physics, uh, especially uh, we, we, you know, with my one of my students, uh, we studied the exoplanets also. Okay, cool. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and walk us, walk us through this paper. Uh, a century is kind of an unusually long baseline in astronomy. Yes. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and walk through the papers, and why don't you tell us what you did and guide us through the paper? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, the uh, radius uh, of of any any astronomical object is very important, and uh, uh, from the this is one of the, one of the fundamental parameter. Uh, mm -hmm. With this fundamental parameter, one can try to understand the internal structure. Uh, so if 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 you're not computing properly. Then, then you know you're not understanding the internal structure of sun or stars at all. In addition, the in addition, the if any changes in radius, it it uh, ultimately affect the luminosity. That means if there is there are any changes in luminosity, it affects the climate. It affects the climate. Okay. And uh, in addition, uh, in astrophysics, this the sun's radiation is. Uh, uh, one of the phenomenal parameters used, and it is scaled also. If 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 you if we are not uh, estimating sun radius correctly, uh, that means we are, we are not we, we cannot estimate the star's radius, or or the recently you know the uh, planet's mass uh, or radius cannot be estimated. Uh, exoplanets mass or planets cannot be estimated properly at all. Hence, uh, this is one of the uh, phenomenal uh, one one of the phenomenal uh, parameter. Uh, which has which has to be studied and estimated properly. Of course, the uh, the previous studies uh, people uh, have estimated the sun's radius with uh, limited data uh, in with the different phases, and uh, they came to the conclusion that okay, sun's uh, radius uh, is depends upon the solar activity. Sun's radius is independent of solar activity, and so on. Uh, in, in, in order to in order to uh, delineate and in order to uh, examine what uh, uh, previous studies say or not, 
uh, we have nearly century scale uh, uh, images, uh, white light images from the Kodakin Observatory. Okay. And uh, the century scale in the sense uh, of it is uh, from 1923 to 2011. And uh, these images uh, have been digitized. And uh, the one uh, important aspect of, uh, of uh, this study is that we have the same instrument which has been observed nearly century. Okay. So uh, the, we have, you know, the 100 days of uh, fight light images. They have been digitized. And uh, uh, then those digitized uh, images um, have been uh, uh, read and uh, so in order to in order to estimate the radius uh, that is correct radius one has to detect the edge of the uh, sun's disk okay yeah. uh, how 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 one has to do that that means uh, you one has to apply the sobel uh, sort of uh, you know the filters then you have the correct edges once you know the correct edges then then you know uh, uh, we have then the circle fit uh, from the circle fit, we can uh, uniquely estimate the radius and two central coordinates. Whereas the previous studies, uh, uh, there is uh, there, there was no unique uh, estimation of the radius at all because usually people used to take the you know the Lindgren function, yeah, and yeah, right. uh, they used to uh, they used to compute uh, you know the inflection point of the uh, Lindgren function, uh, and that too only in the two person at you know the left side and right side. Or uh, then there is to you know the computer radius, uh, which is not unique, which is not unique at all. Okay, okay. so the once radius is estimated, uh, of course before that, please uh, let me have the figure one, which uh, I will show you the about uh, two thousand twenty four thousand. This is uh, the left uh, figure one, the left figure. Uh, it shows the number of observations versus year from 1923 to 2011. Uh, we have a total observation of 24,939 images, uh, but uh, we have applied certain criterion, uh, you know, uh, like uh, the, for, for example, if the images have the same spots, then one can have to estimate the corrected radius. Or, or if you take uh, you know the average uh, radius and one uh, uh, average radius for all the all the images, and if you one take the uh, one uh, for each image, if if the radius estimated radius is greater than one standard deviation, then such images are uh, not taken into account for the analysis. In that way, the number of images have been reduced around 23,000 or so. Once we estimate, uh, then um, of course, before that, it is not uh, not given in the paper. Uh, in uh, before uh, fitting the circle, then we try to fit the ellipse ellipse also. But we found out that ellipse is not much at all. So that's why the circle fitting is unique for these images. Let me ask a question. Uh, yeah, what, sure. Why the uh, why is there a drop off in 1960? What, why was yeah it yeah yeah that's that, yeah that because we put the you know the criteria I told you know the sense spots if the images have the sense spots. Uh -huh. And uh, and uh, if if the standard deviation of one standard deviation is greater than the you know so the average radius for all the images, then what happened during those years? Uh, we, I mean, uh, because of those you know, uh, stringent uh, criteria, then we have reduced uh, data points during around 1960. Okay. 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 Thanks. And Thanks. yeah. Uh, then, uh, in order to in order to see the how the good observation of our Kodakian Observatory, uh, of course we have used the empirical formula, uh, which uh, empirical formula for computation of uh, the free parameter R zero, is is uh, free parameters basically it indicates uh, how transparent how transparent uh, is uh, the you know the sky of the Kodakian Observatory, and uh, how good seeing is okay. So that means uh, how we compute it for all the years, this free parameter um, is as follows. That means uh, we have used the empir empir empirical formula for computation of R0, uh, where R0 is called a free parameter, which is a function of uh, uh, objective of diameter, object, objective diameter of the objective lens. Okay. Then it's a function of its function of a wavelength. Then it's a function of uh, the standard deviation. 
uh, uh, where we have taken the standard deviation in, uh, of radius in each image. So we, we, know, we, know the, uh, we know the diameter of objective, we know the wavelength, the white light uh, images. Then we know the each standard deviation, each image, then one can compute the free parameter. So in the figure, uh, right side of the figure one, we have plotted, uh, plotted a free parameter with respect to ES. Uh, one can notice that uh, the most of the ES, the free parameters, it is around 4, 4.3 which is a I mean, good indicator that uh, observatory is giving the, you know, the correct pictures. Uh -huh. Okay. Any, any questions? Mm, no, I'm with you. Okay. 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 Once, once uh, we, 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 uh, we are sure that uh, the images, what we have taken is, uh, you know, good quality of images, uh, then we have applied such corrections like uh, the, the distortion effect uh, uh, due to telescope uh, images, that this distortion is removed. Yeah. Then we, we have removed the refraction, we made the refraction correction. Then uh, so there were instrumental biases uh, of uh, instrumental, instrumental biases uh, for the, you know, the observations, such, uh, such, such biases are also removed. Then because, um, because the Earth's orbit uh, is uh, elliptic, then, then, then the sun's diameter or radius changes with respect to, uh, with respect to uh, different uh, months or different days or different month of a year. Sure. So for, for one astronomical unit, uh, the radius correction has been done. Okay, so after removing all these corrections, after applying all those corrections, if you go to uh, figure two, where uh, we have presented the, the corrected radius versus uh, the year for different years. The radius uh, in odd second on the, in the y-axis, the x-axis is the time. And uh, one can notice that uh, although the radius varies about uh, uh, five, uh, the, if you see there are uh, four lines out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is a red line. Uh, which is the average uh, radius, uh, okay. fitted, uh, fitted radius. Then there is uh, one, st uh, one standard division that's uh, blue curve uh, on both the sides of the red line. And uh, there are two standard deviation, uh, or that is the green curve uh, yeah. uh, 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 on both the sides of the red line. So uh, from here itself, one can notice that the radius uh, uh, is, is, uh, of the sun is almost constant near the century. Although there is the, there is the, there is the, you know, the faint decrease of the solar radius from 1923 onwards. Okay. And yeah, uh, yeah. but, but, but uh, see, see uh, from this, uh, uh, we can make, you know, certain definite conclusion that or well, the people uh, uh, which the different people they estimate the sun's radius, and uh, some people they say that okay radius is um, is not is is a function of the solar activity, and uh, and some people they say that uh, it is correlated with the sunspot activity, and some people say that uh, the some studies they say that that right. it's anti correlated to the sunspot activity. Well, well, that's obvious because. Uh, they, you know, the time span of the data was uh, uh, very less. That means they used about four years or five years, sometimes ten years. Right. And um, and they 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 observed in a different uh, epoch of the solar activity, and uh, they have I mean the different instruments. That's that's that may be the most obvious reasons why the inconsistent results about solar radius were there. Uh, okay. So let me ask. Uh, Questions on this figure. So yeah, 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 yeah. You've got a couple of pretty strong outlier points, both high and low. Mm -hmm. uh, and what do you think causes those outlier points? Uh, you mean outliers? Yes, outliers. Uh -huh. Outliers. Yeah, yeah. Outliers. Uh, uh, well, uh, it it may be due to you know the atmospheric effect also. The mo most plausible, most plausible reason is due to atmospheric effect. The you know the sun's radius might have been like that. I mean, uh, it might be sometimes. You see, you see what happened. It has gone. Uh, the highest is 980 outlier. You might have seen. Here, okay, 980, 980 out seconds. But but suppose you neglect the outliers. The sun's radius is almost constant. Do you, almost constant. 
You... And in fact, in fact, excuse me, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, see, these, these are the ground-based observations. In fact, the space-based observations are also there. They also say that, yes, the sun's radius is constant. And, uh, but but the, the one more uh, accurate radius is estimate is from heliosismic radius estimate. And uh, the initial also people, uh, uh, people uh, study and people, you know, the estimated uh, sense uh, uh, radius from heliosismology that is called uh, seismic radius and which is, which is adopted uh, nowadays by the, uh, by the IAU 2015. Okay. And, uh, the, and, and the, 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 of course, uh, beginning also people uh, came to the conclusion that, uh, that events, uh, the radius estimated from the uh, seismology was changing. But uh, the later on, people uh, came to the conclusion that uh, even the radius estimated from the sun, it is uh, it is not uh, uh, it is not changing. I mean, it, I mean it's, it, it, it doesn't depend upon the solar activity, but it remains constant. So the whatever they got the results of seismic results and our results, they are coinciding. Okay. Okay. Do you detect any? Uh... I mean, my eyes probably fooling me, but do you detect any periodicities in? This? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, th that's a good question. That's a good question. See, the uh, the uh, uh, then, then then question arises uh, whether solar radius uh, solar radius has you know the oscillations like. That. Of course, one can see from this figure. Uh, suppose you take the points above and below the you know red straight line. Yes, uh -huh. it, appears, it, it appears to be there are periodic oscillations, but mm -hmm. those are pseudo, pseudo periodic oscillations. And uh, in fact, um, uh, physically, I mean, uh, one cannot expect that. Okay, what happened? Suppose, uh, yeah. because there are, you know, the uh, amplitudes, uh, they are up to five, uh, five odd second or something like that. Even, even suppose you take, uh, say, uh, I, I'll, sh I'll show you later, even uh, see the, because the, when you consider red line, there is a faint decrease of about one milli or second per year. Suppose you take even one milli or second per year, and uh, you estimate the gravitational potential, potential energy, gravitational energy, then it is, you know, the, even with one, one uh, changes of one milli or imagine one milli or but here, you know, the periodicities of the uh, amplitudes are of the rough, you know, the, Five or second. Even even if you change if you uh, change the sun's radius by one million or second, yeah. then it will it will be you will you will get you will, uh, uh, you had to you had to increase the enormous amount of uh, you know the gravitational energy of which is ten times the present uh, present uh, luminosity and which is unacceptable at all. Uh, one so during one century we are, I, we, are, we are not expecting that sun's luminosity has, has been reduced. Actually, yeah. I mean, sorry, sun's luminosity has been increased, okay? Right. Because, right. because what happens when the radius, you know, the decreases, because it's, it's decreasing here, when radius is decreasing, then, then you know, it's, it's equal to the compression of the sun. Right. Then, you know, the, then, you know, then the gravitational energy you have to liberate, which is 10 times, even if you take the change one million odd second. But here, here, uh, here, it is of the uh, of five odd second, that side above and below the, Below the you know the uh, red uh, red line, uh, which is unacceptable. So that's why those are called pseudo pseudo uh, periodic oscillations. Yes. Okay. What are the, what are those periodic oscillations? Okay. Then uh, we applied the two methods, and uh, those are M team and uh, wavelength analysis. Then uh, there are there are periodicities out there. Uh, of the uh, one is eleven year periodicity. And there is, and there is, uh, you know, the seven to eight years, uh, and the, the I mean, important periodicities. Uh, periodicities only I'm uh, informed here uh, from this uh, paper. And uh, third one is the third one is the you know the result type of periodicities uh, that is about 151 days, uh, uh, close by 150 days, and uh, there is a, a quasi bionic uh, a quasi Bimodal oscillations are also there, which are of the order of 1.5 to 4 years. Okay. Okay. 
and uh, those are pseudo or uh, pseudo uh, periodic oscillations at all and uh, and they are not they are not at all due to the uh, you know the uh, you know structural variations or radius variations at all okay and uh, i mean uh, it, see the lebanese cycle it could be you know due to the sense path activity and uh, so, i mean we interpreted in this uh, paper and uh, uh, the seven year, uh, seven to eight years, which we found out from the periodic analysis of this radius, which uh, which are uh, interpreted or due to the you know the Earth's atmosphere, uh, or, you know, uh, and um, they are uh, yeah, uh, they are uh, uh, they are the one to uh, one point five to four years uh, oscillations are also there. Uh, which are also again uh, due to the you know the magnetic activity in the interior, and uh, there are uh, oscillations 150 uh, 150 uh, uh, one day, which is due to the flares. Okay, so 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 those 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 are not real. Those are pseudo periodic oscillations from the different different uh, activity phenomena on the sun, but on average. An average. Suppose you remove these periodic oscillations, on average you will get, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the constant radius uh, or the century scale uh, variations. Right. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, if I run that. Ooh. Oh, looks like a fun figure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Can, can you describe a little bit figure 3b looks fascinating yeah yeah okay uh, this is 3b you want or 3a you want uh, let's do 3a first and then do 3b oh, here we uh, well, well this is the empty yeah. that's the power uh, versus versus uh, the frequency of uh, the pseudo pseudo oscillations okay uh -huh. and uh, you can see you know the but this is for different the months um, uh, the you know the uh, uh, one upon month is the frequency here, okay, and uh, you can see the around one twenty eight to one forty four. The first one is due to solar cycle, yeah. And yeah. Uh, there is uh, I can see at least from here, and seventy six to eighty two months. Um, uh, that is due to you know the I was telling you know, six to seven every eight years due to atmosphere Earth's atmosphere atmospheric phenomena. And uh, there's uh, the 43 to 47 months, four to four to uh, five years, uh, which are uh, which are due. To, I mean, different people, you know, they interpret it in a different way. And uh, in fact, uh, I also inter interpreted uh, this one in one of my paper uh, that uh, there is there is a, there is a you know the strong toroidal field. If one perturb those uh, toroidal field, then you can get these uh, sort of four to years. Uh, one to five years periodicity, then uh, you have the um, uh, eleven to twelve. Uh, that is a sort of one year. The uh, that is also there, uh, but but that is already the uh, one year variation. Orbital variation has been removed. But even then, we are getting this eleven to twelve months of periodicity. Well, they, this could be the seasonal effect, Earth seasonal effect. Like you know, the, we have the monsoon here. Uh, right. That that one can expect. And uh, you know different periodic period cities also uh, there uh, like this uh, five point five to six months period cities there. Then uh, I mean I mean these I mean uh, this this is ninety nine percent. If you take the ninety nine percent confidence limit, uh, such period cities only I was informing you. Okay. Then uh, suppose you come to the uh, come to the uh, figure B. In the figure B, this is the wavelet power. Uh, see the, uh, the in the left side figure, what we what we have plotted is the power versus period. We got the exact period, but we don't know uh, those periodicities how long how long they exist uh, for the whole observations. Okay. So so for that purpose, one has to uh, one has to consider the wavelet analysis. Uh, one can notice that. Uh, 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 the whatever the periods uh, are observed in the left side of the figure, um, or some of the you know periods are intermittent; they are not appearing continuously. 
but only one period is about 151 day periodicity is uh, occurring almost in all the years. That's what we found out. Okay. And the one yeah, question yeah. on this. Thing. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, dark colors are high. Darker colors are high. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. They know the, there is. Uh, see, for example, different. You can see the there's a line is there. No continuous line. Oh, so ninety percent, ninety percent, ninety percent, ninety percent. It is written. Yeah. So those okay. have the high high power. Okay. High power. Okay. okay. And uh, there is a, there is there is a uh, you know the hatch region uh, which are uh, not significant powers. So those if if any power occurs below the you know the hash uh, in the hash region then it cannot be considered as the significant period state at all right okay okay good yeah the, get more calm <laughs> all right uh then we talked about yeah it. yeah yeah okay then then excuse me then uh, what happened uh, suppose you remove uh, section section 3.2, I suppose you had to go to section 3.2, uh, uh, section 3.2. If you go to section 3.2, there you know the, we uh, we examine we examine uh, whether the sense, uh, suppose you take the long long term uh, uh, long term variation, then with this sense the even though it, it, it appears to be constant. But uh, uh, it, 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 it doesn't, but there is, you know, the uh, long term uh, decreasing, uh, feeble decreasing trend, uh, and uh, which can be estimated of the order of 1.1 plus or minus 0 0.4 millisecond or uh, milli arc second. Okay. okay. That means since radiuses go on decreasing. Okay. And in fact, uh, in fact, uh, uh, such, such uh, uh, results have been obtained uh, in the, in, in, from the different studies also. Uh, they, they also say that, uh, uh, say for example, even 200 days of uh, the sense radius observations from different methods, they also came to the, they also came to the conclusion that um, there is a faint decrease of uh, uh, sense radius. Uh, what we got, uh, uh, maybe accurate I can say, one, off second, uh, one milli off second, but, but they are 0 0.01 or 0 0.2, uh, odd seconds per year, okay, the decreasing radius per year, okay, um, and uh, the if you go to section 3.2, uh, there, you know, we try to, we try to, uh, after, after, after removing, you know, the pseudo periodic oscillations, and if you take the constant part of radius, and uh, if, you, if you try to correlate with the sense part activity, obviously, it is not at all correlated at all, but, uh, some of the studies they say that since radius, radius was you know phase anti phase with the solar activity, and uh, some of the studies they were pointing that uh, uh, they they are uh, uh, they are with the phase with the uh, sunspot activity, but our results say that no, it doesn't. Okay, it's independent of sunspot activity. That means yeah. that means that means over a century, what one can make conclusion, make conclusion of. Of the, this study is that uh, over the century scale uh, of uh, observations, sun's uh, radius remains almost constant and is independent of sunspot activity. That's the, that's that's the main conclusion from this study. Okay. Okay. Very good. Got it. Cool. So where do we go from here? Um, yes. Do we have to wait another century? Uh, or is <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Not at okay. all. That's not good. At all. That's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. See, what, what, what we, what we uh, studied here uh, is the, uh, we studied radius with respect to time. That means we, st the, we studied the temporal variation of the radius, but we would, we would like to know whether, it, uh, you know, since radius is function of latitude also, and latitude and time also. Okay. okay. That, that means if if there are any such variations, it indicates it indicates that that means the mass in the you know the sun signature it it may not be distributed you know the uniform. Okay, okay. so that means uh, suppose I suppose of course we have distressed data uh, and uh, I mean hundreds of data 
uh, in fact, we are not checked to, for how, whether the sun's radius changes with respect to latitude also. Okay. That means from if there are latitude variations, suppose, suppose uh, if the equator radius and the polar radius, to, to give example, uh, equator radius and polar radius, uh, polar radius are different, then you will have, you know, the obliquity and uh, which uh, is, you know, the function of, uh, uh, you know, the gravitational uh, in terms like a G2, quadruple uh, term and uh, six, right. so, uh, uh, J6, uh, octuple term. So uh, if, if such uh, varies, or if you find out, uh, of course, people already have uh, studied by the, from the different studies, and uh, they say that J2 is, uh, uh, is very, very small, and they make the conclusion that, uh, of course, since you know, the structure, uh, it doesn't, uh, it has uniform uh, structure, and uh, the one more conclusion, they conclude that since code may not be rotating very fast. And uh, that is, uh, if rotating fast, then obviously the, the obliquity will be more, okay. But, but, but we had to test, but that's one aspect. And the second aspect is, the, that's a J2 term. The one more is called J4 term. And uh, that's also very important. Suppose you have the uh, measurable J4 term from, the, from this analysis. Uh, that means we have the already disguised images of the day. Then, uh, then one can expect, uh, you know, the, there may be, you know, the magnetic field, strong magnetic field near, uh, near the center of the sun. Uh, of course, the core rotation, because the, even Helios response is not concluding that core is rotating fast. You know, the, so one can now, from the P mode, it's very difficult to conclude also, because they penetrate, they're not penetrating complete to the solar radius at zero. They, can, uh, they penetrate only 0.2 solar radius. So in that way, the, 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 you know, internal, uh, the uh, center uh, of the sun's center, we don't know how fast it is rotating. We don't know whether the, you know, uh, the strong magnetic uh, field, uh, it could be after, it could be toroidal or coroidal. Uh -huh. And uh, people have expected already that there may be strong toroidal field there, or there may be strong colloidal field there. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's uh, uh, important, uh, uh, important uh, problems one has to prove. Uh, with, uh, with the, you know, the, how the sun's uh, radius varies, with the, uh, how it, whether it depends upon latitude or not. And the, the next question is whether that G2 or G4 terms or function of time or function of years, that also has had to be examined. Sure. That's, that's, that's one aspect. And uh, second, second aspect that I was, I was just discussing, that's very important results also, result also uh, on the previous four to five studies, uh, taking many years of observations with the many methods of the estimation of radius, and they they came to the conclusion that, in fact, we also came to the conclusion from this study that there is a faint decrease of sun radius mm. of um, one milli odd second per year. Okay, the, that means the then the people argue, okay, if it is decreasing, then again you know the uh, huge uh, you know lot of uh, you know, the gravitational energy. And uh, you know that's that uh, it will be more than so. For example, if you take the uh, one milli odd second, which 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 we are getting, that is uh, then you estimate the gravitational energy. Then you estimate the gravitational energy. Uh, then you estimate the uh, estimate the gravitational energy, which 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 is, is ten times of the luminosity. Which I mean that's yeah. not correct. That's not correct. So the one speculation which which I'm expecting or we are expecting uh, that. Uh, are, are, we, are we retreating away from the sun? That means our, the Earth's orbit is going away from the sun. Why? Why it is going away from the sun? Uh, that means they, they, uh, there are two important points. One is the gravitational force, and that gravitational force, it is all dependent upon again the gra uh, gravitation, universal gravitation constant capital G. Uh -huh. that, may be that may be changing. And of course, uh, uh, some people are. Uh, uh, or, or, or already, you know, inter, uh, or, or, or telling that okay, G may not be constant at all. In this so that's one point. And under is under is the mass loss of the sun. Sure. So okay, uh, there will maybe you know uh, there will not be negligible mass, of course. Uh, but now the mass loss is appears to be uh, of the order of ten to the power minus uh, fourteen grams per year. Yes. Uh, but but that is estimated from the solar wind. But uh, the sum of the paper, uh, the, suppose you take, because mass loss, not only due to solar wind, mass loss occurs 
due to the due to the ejection that was also called coronal mass ejection which also carries mass so yeah. which has not been estimated and and a few years back people are estimated and uh, they came to the conclusion that suppose if you if you compensate the that mass loss then the correct loss correct mass loss could be 10 power of minus 11 okay yeah. uh, grams per year so uh, so these two possibilities may be there and because of these two, uh, then then the well, the, uh, the orbital distance from the sun is maybe gone increasing. If that is the case, we are seeing the uh, of course radius remains constant, whereas it appears to be reducing. Okay, cool. so okay, that's 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 one point. Uh, that's uh, one important uh, yeah. study we we want to undertake. And uh, thirdly, uh, thirdly, uh, we would like to examine because uh, because in the correct observatory uh, we have the <coughs> sorry excuse me <coughs> okay. in the correct in the correct observatory we have the uh, sense observations in other wavelength like uh, calcium two and uh, H alpha of the, the, the errors of the near century scale. Uh -huh. Then then we would like to estimate the radius from those images because we have. Already, those are digitized images we have, so that with the same method, whatever we have uh, done for the white light images, uh, we would like to estimate the uh, radius for the calcium 2 and uh, H alpha. And again, we would like to examine whether the radius remains constant for all the central scale or it varies. Right. And is it this is the same as what we obtain uh, from, the, from the white light images, radius from the white light images? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So the, the, these are three important uh, studies in future we would like to take. So the future is bright. We got a lot of a lot of things to research over the next yeah, 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 yeah. several years. We don't have to wait yeah. a century. <laughs> very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Here, Math, I want to thank you so much for spending uh, some time and chatting about your paper and chatting about um, the solar radius and where we're headed. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much also, and uh, thank you very much for giving this nice opportunity to present, uh, you know, the um, uh, results of our recently published paper. Well, it's a very thank nice, you. very nice. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you, thank everyone, you. so much, yeah. and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Thank, -bye. thank you very much.